say this, but get in. We're going to New York Fashion Week. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, so technically New York Fashion Week kind of started on Thursday. Right now it's Saturday. I'm kind of going on like the tail end of it. So I'm actually flying out tomorrow, first thing Sunday morning, and we are hitting the ground running i got invited to a couple events and all that good stuff so i'm excited and i'm going to be bringing you guys along for the ride for my first new york fashion week of course we gotta get cute okay today is hair prep it is also nail day yes lord we need to fix her i've got a lot to do on my schedule today if you hear banging my neighbors are getting a fence so i'm sorry poor timing but it is what it is so on the agenda today i need to wash this hair right now this is actually gonna be my first wash since we dyed her black so i'm excited to kind of get in there and see what it's like so wash my hair i need to do my shower it's gonna be like an everything shower i need to see what i can do about this face y'all i have been breaking out like crazy you probably can't see but i have like a couple little little bumps here and then look at this some of these are just dark spots but some of these are also active bumps Obviously, this one is an active bump. I don't know what's going on. Like, I I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to own my acne. That's what we're going to do, okay? We're just, it's going to be there, and I'm not going to be upset about it. It just is what it is. We're still cute. We're still fashionable, and we're still going to have the most amazing time in New York Fashion Week. So after I deal with myself, I then need to drop Hershey off. This is my first time leaving her here with um, someone who's not like a friend or family. Like she's going to like a doggy resort. <laughs> um, it needed to happen because my mom's coming to New York Fashion Week with me. So yeah, I've been anxious like for the last week. <laughs> I've been anxious about it, not really getting much sleep, but whatever. I know that she'll be fine. I got her like a VIP room with a webcam and everything. So she's gonna be fine. She has no idea that it's happening, but I've already packed her stuff. So I need to drop her off there. And then um, I need to pack and then go and get my nails done later this evening. So we got a lot going on. I got to hurry up and get this hair done as quickly as possible. So let's go. Let's get this party started. It's like rinsing out purple. It's crazy. Oh my God. Okay. Um, so products of choice today. For shampoo, I'm going in with my current favorite. The Rio Geo Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. My scalp and my hair just, they feel like they need it. And then for deep conditioner, also Rio Geo, their Superfoods Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. I'm keeping it simple and I need this wash to come out phenomenal. And y'all already know how I feel about Rio Geo, so that's what I'm going for. This is style, I'm going in with Just Foam by The Do. This is the crazy sexy curl mousse that y'all know I'm already obsessed with. The goal for New York Fashion Week is to be big, okay? I want my natural hair to be a statement. I feel like in itself it's kind of a statement because I'm just so excited to like wear my natural hair where, where most people are wearing weaves and wigs and braids and extensions and all that and they look phenomenal and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I am just excited to kind of pop out with my natural hair as a statement. And so, in order for her to be a statement statement, I need her to be big, I need her to be large, I need her to have volume. So this is my mousse of choice. Yesterday was a lot. Um, right now it is 5 a.m. the day of travel on Sunday. <sighs> Yesterday was a lot. Oh my gosh, I was so stressed out all day. Um, and dropping Hershey off to the doggy resort, I was not expecting for it to hit me the way that it did. Just leaving her in a new place, like in the care of new people that I've never left her with before, knowing that she's like an anxious dog, absolutely took me out. Um, so I was a little bit of a wreck then I was like rushing all day like running around getting stuff done I got home and I didn't go to sleep until like 12. It's not like 5 a.m. I'm really tired 
Um, and then we hit the ground running in New York today and have like back to back to back to back events from two o'clock all the way to ten o'clock. So it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on, but we push, we move, because then at least tomorrow on Monday we have like a an easier day for sure. So whew, deep breath. Let's uh I gotta finish packing really quick. Um take a shower and then yeah, I'm thinking about bringing like my lashes on the plane so we can do it on the plane because we literally get in like 11.50 and my first event is at 2 o'clock. Like I don't have any time to do anything. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying not to be stressed. I'm trying just to let it go and just enjoy the moment. Ah, but I'm not. I'm just not one of those people. Like you know those people who are like really good at... Like they can they can function like they can get get it together with no sleep. I'm not that person. I need sleep I need my sleep in order to function, but it'll be fine. Everything will be fine Whew, So yeah, it's time to keep pushing keep moving and get excited because this is exciting stuff um, My skin just absolutely Begging for attention. I don't know. I don't know but like I said, we're gonna rock it. So I need to finish packing. I bought these really cool bamboo sticks just in case I decide to like put my hair back and stuff thought this would be cute like a cute vibe with like a slick back bun like a Asian-ish inspired look We have arrived. The weather's poop. It's just rainy, but I'm excited to see our hotel. I'm staying at the Kimpton. <laughs> we fancy. One thing about me when I'm going on vacation, I'm just like ready to go. You know? I'm just like, if we're gonna go, we gotta go. So I'm excited. Okay, so we're at the hotel, but our room isn't ready yet. Um, it is 1.28. I have an event that starts at 2, but it's like a 2 to 4 event, so I figure if I get there by 3, I should be okay. But our room's not ready, so I'm going to try and get ready in the lobby. Just be a little ghetto. It's really cute in here. I'll give y'all a full like hotel tour and stuff once we check in, maybe tomorrow. I'll have more time, but I have like 500 of this closer today. Well, we gotta get started now. Our room is ready? Yes, I got her keys. Are you Let's serious? Go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, our room's ready. We'll pick this back up when we get in the room. Okay, what a mess. See, these are the non-glamorous parts of New York fashion. <laughs> All right. Let's check this view. It's so New York. Okay, so I have to get a picture in front of this window. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, don't look down. <gasps> I'm scared. Okay, so here is our room. We did two beds, mom and I are staying together. I love that there's like these full length mirrors here so you can like see your whole outfit. We should get photos in these every day. <laughs> yeah. And then the beds are super cute. And then this is the bathroom. Oh, there's another, oh, this is a mirror we're gonna take a picture in every day. <laughs> and here's the bathroom, which is super cute, super spacious. I love it. I'm so happy to be here. I literally can't believe I'm here. Like if you had told me in the beginning of this year that you're gonna be with a new agency and you're gonna be at New York Fashion Week and you're gonna get invited to events and you're gonna be one of the girlies that you always see attend every year. You're gonna be one of them. Like what? I'm about to set up all my makeup here. 
so we can finish getting ready. Your girl is ready ah, for her first New York Fashion Week ever. This is how we're looking. These are the deeds. So look at these pearl shoes that I got from Steve Madden inside of Dillard's giving the dress is from nasty gal i got this bag from amazon on the lips we got fancy beauty and then this jewelry is actually from what's the name of the jewelry place where we got the accessories again akira the jewelry is from akira and then these earrings are from zara so we kind of all over the place but ah, how cute and feminine this is way outside of my comfort zone but I'm really excited and I'm about to call George and show him my outfit. It's a nice baby, I like it. You like it? You love it. You love it? Mm -hmm. Like my pearl shoes? Yeah. Uh, hey, this is so different, it's like outside of my comfort zone, but. This is like, you look good, You like it? Yeah, so safety underneath that dress. <laughs> like I don't understand why Apple would play me like this. Like sardines up in here. looking a little frizzy but we're fine we're fine um we're having a casual day today mom and i are just about to hit the road oh i thought she was behind me but she's not <laughs> um we're about to hit the road let me show you my outfit of the day last night was so much fun oh this is mom's outfit hey. of the day cute <laughs> cute just casual. casual and i'm super extra casual giving off-duty influencer <laughs> Um, but it's so much fun. Oh my gosh, uh, the shows. The shows are really cool. I'm noticing there's two types of shows. So there's the runway type of show, and then there's like a preview. So like runway is obviously runway, but like previews are kind of like more like a mix and mingle type event. And they have models kind of stand either standing up or like walking around in their clothes. My favorite is the runway, of course. Um, but yeah, we're having so much fun. Sherry Hill so far was my top favorite event. I loved it. It was amazing. They had like some food after. My GoPro camera did die, the battery. I'm looking to upgrade that soon because the battery is absolute trash. Um, so actually we're heading to B&H Photo because I am going to see some options for upgrades. But yeah, we're here and we're doing it. And I'm trying to vlog as much as possible because there's a lot going on so it can be a little difficult but yeah where i'm doing my best so um on the agenda today is we're going on the road we're gonna grab some lunch we're gonna go to bh photo i'm gonna do some shopping i want to check out the fashion district really quickly and then i want to be back here by like 4 4 30 in order to get ready for the main reason why i'm here in the first place which is the creator dinner that is hosted by my agency society 18. it's time to seize the day mom let's go Let's do this. Oh, should I tell y'all where my... Is my full fit from Zara? These shorts are definitely Zara. The shirt is also Zara. <laughs> um, this bag is from JW Pay, Pay, whatever. It's linked on my Amazon. Um, oh yeah, and then shoes. Converse. I've been the world's 
worst vlogger on this trip. I don't know, I've just been go, 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 go. Um, but now, back at the hotel, we had a lot of fun just kind of walking around the city. We literally just walked around the city. Um, we went to, we had lunch at this really nice Italian spot and then um, stopped in H&M. I ran into Chrissy, which is so cute. Uh, so now we're back. I've showered and I'm getting ready for our creator dinner tonight, which is hosted by Society 18, my new agency. So I'm super, super excited. Oh, how cute. This is like a long dress. I'll show you guys the full fit once I'm all ready, but I just refreshed my hair a little bit. It was getting a little frizzy. So I just refreshed a couple with some mousse, a couple of the curls, and then boom, it's time to get this makeup started. So, so far, I feel like New York Fashion Week, has it been what I expected? I don't know. It's just crazy to like look online and just see everybody else who is here, but there's about 500 million events all going on every single day, and so, it's like people that you know are here but you don't really see them because they're going to other events is like crazy. So far, I'm still really happy about the decision to keep my curls out because I just feel like my hair has been making my fits, honestly. It's been making the vibe happen, so I love that for me. Mom, yeah. how are you feeling about your, your first fashion week so far? Love it. Yeah, I think next year we definitely gotta go earlier. Yeah. Sherry Hill was so good. So, so good. That was like the best event that we've gone to yet. You know what? I'm gonna try this color corrector. It's supposed to be for dark spots, so it's by Tinted. I actually bought this. And it's like this orange color. If we could get this to focus, boom. This dark orange is supposed to be, wait, let me prime my face first. But it's supposed to be really good for concealing dark spots and I have a lot of those because I have been having acne lately. So I think that will be good for me. That'll do donkey. <laughs> Here's the state of my skin. One active bump, one like going away bump. And one super active bump going away. Everything else is going away. All right, so let's see how this works. I have a couple. I'm literally just drawing this on everywhere that I have a spot. Okay, it's looking crazy right now, but we gotta trust the process. It's looking orange, and it's. I think it's doing the job, canceling out some of the dark. I'm just gonna go in on top with my regular NARS concealer. That actually did such a good job canceling out these these ones here. This isn't it's not looking dark or red. It's doing it. It's doing it. Alright y'all we ready to go. I did basically just a simple signature look and then here is my full face. This dress is from Akira isn't it? So cute, like it's got this cute little slit. I am obsessed. I love this dress. This bag is from JW Pie, P, Pay, whatever. I love their stuff from Amazon. And we're cute. And we're getting it. And we're cute. Oh, and look at these earrings. Okay, so these are asymmetrical earrings from Zara. So it's like one is like the rounded parts on the bottom, and this one. The rounded part is at the top. So cute. Um, but we gotta go. It is storming outside. <laughs> I'm actually scared. There's like lightning and stuff, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna shoot really quick and then we're gonna run over to dinner. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Day three, I did not get very much content because it was such a busy day. I also had a ton of technical difficulties. My GoPro kept dying. My phone had zero storage. Like it was a hot mess. So I did the best I could y'all. We started off the day with this set of fill event and it was a late night before. So I woke up early to get here and we just started off the day tired to be honest. But this is the outfit of the day. Super cute. Definitely one of my favorites. Obsessed with this jumpsuit. So the next stop was then Alexis Bittar. This is my first time actually experiencing this brand. 
and it has officially become my favorite jewelry brand. They were previewing their spring summer 2024 collection as well as just everything else and it was absolutely beautiful. Afterwards, my mom and I found like one of those museums of illusions. We had fun there and then we jumped to our final event which was the Society 18 Mixer. Where us as creators got to mix and mingle together with each other, but also with other brands as well. So that was really good. So busy day, but lots of fun and lots of cute outfits. so excited so i'm really excited for tonight now <laughs> this is the outfit it's a skirt with my converse we're rushing we're going to kind of walk around and check out the zara that's like a couple blocks away and then go to michael jackson priorities right i need to i need to shop a little bit first i just want to see if i'm going to see anything that inspires me so okay we're heading out oh wait wait, wait. i wanted to show them what i'm wearing today is one of the pieces we got gifted from alexis bitar I'm obsessed with this bag so like it's a clutch so you could do it like this without the strap or you could have it with the strap and do crossbody which is what I'm gonna do today I'm so I'm so excited about this mom show them your bag she's gonna wear we're both gonna have our Alexis Ooh. Bittar bags that we got gifted look at it isn't this gorgeous honestly oh I when they were gifting gosh. us I saw this and he's like which bag do you want and I was about to say gold but she said gold first and I was like it doesn't make sense for us to get the same bag so we just got different bags, which we both absolutely love. Yeah. We're just, we're living our best lives. We're grateful. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to record the actual performance, but y'all, if you ever have the opportunity to see Michael Jackson on Broadway, it is absolutely amazing. This is just like the very end, little fun part. 
um but it is gripping it is everything about it absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 and yes that did just happen it's time to go home y'all it's about that time um mom how was michael jackson last night amazing and it's my second time seeing it and it gave me wows and chills and feels all over again. Would you go back a third time? Yes, 100%. Highly recommend. Guys? So good. 20 out of 10. Like, you need to experience this in your life. Yeah. We all came out of there like, how amazing. The production, not one second of it was corny. Like, it was all just amazing. It goes through like his life and kind of tells his life story and all the struggles that he had and how he just put his pain and passion into his music oh my god and then the production the dancing the dancing the, the production music, the music yeah. everything oh my god, oh my god. We had an amazing time new york was yeah, amazing um it's been like a whirlwind of a trip and i think we might need to pay an overweight bag yeah so we'll see we're trying to get that sweet out new york but yeah, it was Great. fun while it lasted. One more look at the view. The city view. Ugh, oh, so pretty. And of course, it's the most beautiful sunny day when we're leaving. So review of the hotel. We stayed at the Kimpton Eventi. I have some like good stuff about it and some bad stuff about it. So let's go through the pros first. I love the location. It's like a 15 minute walk if you're walking slow to Times Square. If you're walking fast, 10 to 12 minutes max. Um, literally straight. It's just one straight walk down to Times Square. So that's nice. It's also around the corner from the Ritz Carlton, which had that beautiful rooftop bar uh, where we hung out with Bianca for a little bit. <clears throat> so that was really nice. There's literally a Starbucks two blocks away. There's a Chick-fil-A a couple blocks away. So I just felt like there's, you know, a little bit of everything right here. It's also flanked by two restaurants. So there's like a steak restaurant on one side and then an Italian restaurant on the other side. So of course those came in clutch. I actually don't feel like it was as noisy as some other hotels that I've stayed at. So that was good, but we were also on the 20th floor. So I think that probably helped a little bit as well. So I liked it. Oh, also the room, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful room, super spacious. The lighting in here, amazing. Um, so it was great for content for me. The bathroom and the shower, massive, especially for a New York hotel. So I loved it, I was super, super comfortable. But there were also some cons. So first, they don't do room service here, which is really annoying, especially for like me like on a work trip, I like to get room service because Sometimes you get busy and like you don't have time like I'm trying to like edit and keep up with stuff and like We really had to think about food. I had to door dash one night because I was so hungry So yeah, that was definitely a con also I noticed like with it being the Kimpton you expect like top-notch like it needs to be super clean and everything um, It was mostly very clean. I would give it like a 3.5 stars though because like when you look up you can see like little dust bunnies like in the corners of the ceilings and I don't like that. Everything else, like the beds and everything else, the bathroom, all seemed pretty clean. But yeah, the dust bunnies up there threw me all the way off. And so I didn't like that. I think those were probably the two main cons. Otherwise, everything else was pretty good. Like their security last night when we were coming in really, really late at night, he would not even let us go to the elevator, even though you need a hotel key to get up in the elevator and to go anywhere. Um, he was like, can I just see your room key? So I felt... Like it was really, really secure and nice. Um, and the downstairs area is super beautiful. Lots of great places to like take pictures and all that stuff. So I think I would give my overall stay here probably an eight out of 10. Just losing a couple points, seven and a half, eight out of 10. Losing a couple points for the cons that I mentioned, lack of room service and stuff. Overall, I think we had a great experience. And I think I would stay here again. Now that I know, like I would just be prepared for the things that I didn't realize we weren't gonna have here. Um, but yeah, I think I would stay here again and I would recommend it. Yeah, now we're actually proud to go head to that Starbucks right now so we can grab a quick bite, maybe some tea and stuff, and then head to the airport. It's time to go, I'm so excited because today, 
I get to go back home. I get to pick up Hershey. I get to see George because he's about to be on his way to see me. And our couch arrives. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day.